Oh, yes. And won't you tell me who can stand me for us when we call on that great name? His name is Jesus. Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Hallelujah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Clans, and we are back once again with another YouTube video. And we are here with day 21 of Proverbs. It's been a crazy journey. We are finally on day 21. Let's get to these. Let's get to the word, man. Let's get to the word. But before we do that, y'all know the vibes. I know what we are. We have to pray in. You know what I'm saying? We have to invite the Holy Spirit in. So, all minds clear, heads bowed, eyes closed. <clears throat> Lord, thank you for waking us all up this morning. Thank you for allowing me to even get to the studio safely today, Lord. Thank you for just giving us the heart posture again once to just chase after you, Lord, to seek your face and to find you. And to just have another chance to invite the Holy Spirit into this reading, we ask that you just bless us with new understanding, new revelation, new wisdom. And I ask that your Holy Spirit guides us to find a new revelation of your words, Lord, and understand the true meaning of what your Bible is trying to tell us, Lord, and how it connects to Jesus, Lord, and how we can be more like you, Lord. So I ask that you guide this reading, bless them to hear what's not my own. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's get right to it, y'all. Y'all know the vibes, man. Y'all know the vibes. Proverbs chapter 21. If you got to say, yo, <laughs> if you don't know what I just, what I just did right there, you got to be attending Bible studies to know what we talk about. You know what I'm saying? But I bet you some, somebody probably said, yo, back. You feel me? And that's love. I love y'all. But yeah, Proverbs chapter 21, verse one. I'm reading from the NLT version of my Bible. This is the Every Man's Bible right here. And I have my AMP Bible as well. For those that want to cop them, they will be tagged on the screen. And I'm reading from my filament Bible on my study. Well, my study Bible is on my iPad, which is where we'll get the different breakdowns of each different verse that it has on the app. And I'll tell that in the description as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this read. Verse one, the king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Verse six, wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. The violence of the wicked sweeps them away. Because they refuse to do what is just, the guilty walk a, with a, the guilty walk a crooked path. The innocent travel a, a straight road. It's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Evil people desire evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded become wise. If you instruct the wise, they will be all the wiser. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. Those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift calms anger. A bribe under the table pacifies fury. Justice, justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. Highlight that, please and thank you. <laughs> the wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. Verse 20, the wise have, wealthy, have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and, the lo and level the fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boundless ar arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin, for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to, love to give. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but a credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. That is our beautiful reads for the day. 
So we're going to go verse by verse from our filament study Bible app. And we're going to go from there and see what the breakdowns are for each verses. And let's see what these verses mean. And then after that, I'm going to highlight which ones are my favorite uh, verses. And then we're going to see what the verses say also in the AMP Bible for the ones I highlight. So that's a breakdown we're going to do today. We're going to see how that works. But yeah, verse one, let's get to verse one. Proverbs chapter 21, verse one, get y'all highlighters out. Let's get the highlighters, get right what we're doing. Verse one, the king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. Verse one in my filament Bible, it says, a king was the most powerful individual in an ancient nation. And it seemed that he could do as he pleased. However, God directs the heart of the king. I like that. I'm highlighting that matter of fact. Verse two, people may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. So good. Verse two, it says this proverb is repeated almost verbatim in chapter 16, verse two. And I'm actually going to do something different this time. I'm, I'm going to actually go back to that verse and see what it says verbatim. Chapter 16, verse two, it says people may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. And then verse two in this one, it says people may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. So yeah, same, same exact thing, basically, basically. So yeah, verse two. Uh, I said verse 23, what? Verse three, the, and I highlighted verse two as well for those that um, wanna highlight it. Verse three, the Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. Verse three, it says, God is not pleased with worship unless godly actions flow from a godly heart. I'm gonna read that again. God is not pleased with worship unless godly actions flow from a godly heart. That's good. The pink, let's get the pink highlighter for that one. <laughs> That was good. I like that for sure. Let's get down to verse four. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. So don't be out here pointing fingers at someone else for their sin, and you over here having haughty eyes and a proud heart. Your pride over here talking for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't be pointing at someone else's sin when you got sin right here in, 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 inside. You may not be able to see the outward expression, but you can see it. It's in your heart. Fix, fix your heart posture. You sinning too. Verse, uh, I have verse five highlighted, but it's not in the filament Bible. But verse five, it says, good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Stop following get rich quick schemes. I'm trying to tell y'all, plan ahead, have the plan of action, follow the vision that God has given you, and hard, and hard work gonna lead to that prosperity, bro. I'm trying to tell you, don't worry about the time frame of how long it's gonna take. Plan ahead, have a calculated plan as God to guide it, and follow the plan of action that he has. Don't try to just shortcut it. Don't try to half do it. No, do it to your best ability. And the prosperity will come if it's in the Lord's will. You feel me? So do that. All right. Skipping down to verse eight. It says the guilty walk a crooked path. The innocent travel a straight road. The crooked path of foolishness ends with death. The straight road of wisdom leads to life. So yeah, that's good. Um, then it goes to verse nine. Verse nine it says it's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. I don't know why. Not I don't know why, but that's facts. It's better for you to live alone than for you to marry a wife that just wants to argue for no reason. That just wants to pick fights for no reason. I'm going to leave it alone. Verse 9 says, A marriage that looks good on the outside in a lovely home is unrewarding if it is filled with quarrels. That is good. That is good. So let's highlight that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell y'all, let God pick your wife. Don't you just be out here choosing any and everybody, bro. Make sure, make sure you're picking the right person. Verse 10, evil people, evil people desire evil. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. Evil people do not just act evil. They are evil. No appeal will persuade them to act otherwise. Verse 11, if you punish a mocker, those simple-minded become wise. If you instruct the wise, they will all be the wiser. The simple-minded learn by seeing a mocker punished. The wise do not need to, do not need the threat of punishment because they are already, they already desire wisdom. That's good. I'm highlighting that. I'm highlighting that for sure. Verse 11, highlight it. Verse 12, the righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. It says the righteous one, God sees what the wicked do in the privacy of their homes and will punish them for their sins. Alternatively, the righteous one might refer to the inside of any righteous individual. Got you. Skips down to verse 15. Verse 15 says, justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. Verse 15, it says, God is just, so he will reward the innocent and punish the wicked. 
No one of the godly love justice while the wicked fear it. Verse 16, the person who strays from common sense will end up in the company will end up in the company of the dead. Those who have common sense can avoid life's dangers. That's common sense. Yep, it's facts. Verse 17. Verse 17, it says, Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The expenses of wine and luxury prevent people from assuming what the expenses of wine and luxury prevent people from amassing their resources they spend rather than save mm. hey boy that's good verse 18 it says the wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest verse 18 it says the wicked will fall prey to the traps they set for others that's great that's crazy verse 19 it's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome wife complain with a quarrelsome complaining wife hey it's repeating this for a reason. That's two verses now about a uh, chorus and wife. And that's back to back days. It was just talking about chorus and wives on the last chapter as well. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all to pick right. Verse 19, it says, it's better to live alone. Um, verse 21, it says, whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness, and honor. Highlight that. Highlight that. Verse 21, yeah. Righteousness and unfailing love are character traits associated with Israel's covenant with God. The covenant promised the covenant promised life and honor to those. The covenant promised life and honor to those who obey God's law. That's good. I like that. I'm about to go on um, do a personal Bible study on that as well. As far as like the different um chapters it's referring to. That's good. Verse 22. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. A wise military strategist can devise ways to defeat stronger forces. This makes wisdom superior to raw power. Highlight. We better highlight this whole chapter. Chapter 21. Wow. <laughs> Verse 24 is where it skips down to. It says mockers are proud and haughty. They act with balanced arrogance. Verse 24 it says it just says mockers. He's starting to know. But go ahead to Verse 23. Matter of fact, we're not even going to skip that. Verse 23 says, watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut. You will stay out of trouble. A lot of y'all just like hearing yourself talk and y'all talk yourselves into trouble. Imagine if you just held like fought the urge to talk and speak or, or respond to a certain opinion and held your mouth shut. Imagine how much more peaceful life would be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you had some, some self-control and didn't respond to any and everything. Feel me? Um, goes down to verse 26. Verse 26 says, some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. That's facts. Generosity is a trait of the godly, while stinginess is characteristics of fools. Paradoxi paradoxically, the more you give, the more you get, which is crazy because that's a fact. My mom always taught me you have to sow where you want to go. And if you have a heart to give, you'll never be without. And then last one that it has for this chapter is verses 30 through 31. Verse 30, no human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. Verse 31, the horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. And it says human wisdom is impotent if it stands against the Lord. Similarly, similarly, the military power represented by the horse is impotent without the Lord's blessing. That is our wonderful reads. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to open up this a &P Bible and we'll see what it's talking about. And we're going to see what verses it had. Like, what's this breakdown of different verses that we have highlighted right now? We have a lot of highlighted verses. So, we're about to see. So, verse 1. What does it say for verse 1? AMP Bible, it says, verse 1. The king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it whichever way he wishes. That's good. Verse two, every man's way, every man's way is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs and examines the hearts of people and their motives. That's good. I have verse three highlighted as well. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice for wrongs repeatedly committed. Hello. Hello. Verse five. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance and advantage, but everyone who acts in haste comes surely to poverty. I'm trying to tell y'all, better be diligent. It can lead to abundance. 
I love how the AMP be breaking stuff down. Verse nine, it says, it is better to live in a corner of the housetop on the flat roof exposed to the weather than a house shared with a quarrelsome, contentious wife. Woman. woman. <laughs> I'm highlighting. Verse 11, when the scoffer is punished, the naive observes the lesson and becomes wise. But when the wise and teachable person is instructed, he receives knowledge. Yep. And these are all just different ways to basically say the same thing, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes different versions give a different perspective on what you're reading, you feel me? And I love that. Verse 19, it is better to dwell in a, dw it is better to dwell in a desert land than with a continuous and troublesome woman. Again. It's being repeated for a reason. You better open your eyes, fellas. Don't fall for it. And then... Verse 21, 22. He who earnestly seeks righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. Everybody need to highlight that. Righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. And in verse 22, a wise man scales the city walls of the mighty and brings down the stronghold in which they are, in which they trust. Yep. And last one, verse 26. He craves all the day long and does no work, but the righteous willing gives. Yeah, but the righteous willing gives and does not withhold what he has. I love the Bible. I actually like verse 32. It says, there's no human wisdom or understanding or counsel that can prevail against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but deliverance and victory belongs. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go ahead and highlight verse 30 and 31 too. <laughs> Go ahead and highlight both of those. We didn't highlight this whole chapter. And what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to go back and read through this. But then ask God for um, more understanding, like for on your own. You know what I'm saying? Ask him to ask him to point out different things that he wants you to uh, to see in these reads. Ask him to act, uh, to reveal to you himself to you through these words and how you can apply this knowledge to your life and how you can take one step forward to using whatever gifts and skills he's blessing you from these words to advance the kingdom and make disciples. You feel me? So that's our reads for the day. A powerful day. Verse, I mean, chapter 21 was crazy. We almost highlighted the whole chapter. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But I enjoy the reads. I enjoy what we are learning. Matter of fact, biggest takeaways from this chapter. And obviously, the quarrelsome wife is one of the repeated ones. So that's the reason why they repeated it. So yeah, fellas, watch who you are putting a ring on their finger. Like, watch who ring you put on their finger. You know what I'm saying? Watch who you cuff. Watch who you marry. Because it's a reason why I keep repeating this. Marry the right person. Marry the right person. If you marry the right person, you obtain favor. If you marry the wrong person, you get somebody's quarrels. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you got, you're you guided by God. You're not jumping the gun. You're not, you know what I'm saying? You're not moving in the wrong season. Make sure you do everything you need to do to find a righteous, God-fearing woman that God has set for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the biggest things. And then... It talks also talks about planning, like planning ahead, not make, making hasty shortcuts. I love that as well. And then it also talks about the heart. Make sure you have the right heart, heart posture when making certain decisions. And I think that's the main three things I got from these reads today. So yeah, don't no quarrelsome woman. Stay away from them. No shortcuts. Make actually having good planning, being um and working hard, and that will lead to prosperity. And then check your heart posture. Make sure your heart. It's actually reflecting what God's desires are and not your own personal gain. You feel me? So that's the race for the day. That's what I learned. Um, I love y'all. We're going to pray out real quick. And then I cannot wait to see y'all tomorrow for day 22. You feel me? So all my clear heads bowed, eyes closed. Thank you, Lord, for your beautiful reads today. Thank you for just your overwhelming presence that I feel today. And I'm just full of joy because i thank you and i'm grateful because in general lord we are not worthy to even have you the way we do lord to even have your presence as strong as it is lord but i'm grateful i thank you lord for always being here 
for always making a way for us, Lord, for always keeping our angels around us and keeping us protected, Lord. We thank you for the little things and all the big things that we may not even see or that we can see, Lord. And we and we ask for your forgiveness, Lord, for everything we've done knowingly and unknowingly, Lord, that may have hurt your feelings, God. Because that's what you cover us, keep us safe tonight, bless us to get home safely, bless us to um, just take today to be able to just meditate on your presence, your joy, your peace, your kindness, and your love and your Holy Spirit's comfort, God. And I thank you. I ask that you cover us as we're gracing through uh, chapters 21 through 31, Lord. We have 10 more days left of your beautiful word, and I'm so excited to see what you have planned for us next. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all be safe. We love y'all. Um, as always, it's always more purpose. You just have to find yours. Like, comment, subscribe, and the vibes, man. Love. The highlight is crazy. Love. <laughs>